25 earthworms live in a square foot of soil. That's a million an acre. And this robin wants his share. Isn't it cute how he cocks his head to listen for the Wait. How much noise does a worm even make? None, right? Wrong. As worms wriggle around, they cause tiny particles of soil to rub against each other, and a robin can hear that. What? That's right next door to claiming a robin can hear sunshine. Okay, doubt if you will, but consider that we can't hear worms because we're 15 to 20 times further away from those faint, scritchy noises than the bird is. And besides, he hears better than we do. Now, you might be thinking that he has one eye on each side of his head and it looks like he's aiming one of them at the ground to look for worms. Well, if that's what you're thinking, you are so right. Vision is the robin's main hunting tool. Worms do poke their little heads up above the soil sometimes, and even if they don't, the grass above them moves subtly as the worms wiggle under the blades. And the robin not only sees that, he can feel the soil shift just a tad. And they have one more sensory clue in the hunt. Taste. This female, you can tell it's a she by how pale the breast and even the back are, she can taste whether worms are near. Robins on the hunt constantly peck at a spot and move on. One little nibble tells them all they need to know. Okay, we might be getting back into Robin's hearing sunshine territory here, but I'm just reporting what the ornithologists say. So anyway, if the bird suspects a worm is down there, it aims one eye a few centimeters in front of itself and then aims the other eye at the same spot. If there's a worm twisting and squirming in the soil, the robin pounces with its bill. And as you can see, he can hit the ground pretty hard. And don't for a second believe that females are too delicate and refined to gavel that ground. This one divots up large chunks of turf and tugs a worm loose. Tug being the operative word. The robin often has to brace its legs and heave. Now, robins feed on berries, too, and even some seeds. But in breeding season, they need lots of meat. If you've ever watched one hunting, you'll see that it downs a worm every couple minutes. Or to put it another way, it gulps down 14 feet of worm a day. That's a lot of meat for one medium-sized bird. Yeah, the worms are skinny, but imagine 14 feet of them piled on the ground like squirming yarn. So, anyway, the sight of robins tugging at worms is iconic. And in fact, the robin is much more common in North America now than it was before the arrival of Europeans with their love of lawns and gardens, especially since earthworms are not native to this continent. They came with the Europeans. Almost anywhere that you can see lawns in spring, you'll find robins hunting worms on them. They'll inspect the spot, decide there's no worm there, and skitter to a new one running and halting, like a kid playing Simon Says Go, Simon Says Stop. Sometimes the bird simply stands erect for several minutes, listening for worms, feeling for vibration in the soil, resting and digesting, who knows? They never explain themselves. Anyway, as soon as the bird wrestles a worm loose, he drops it and fiddles with it until he can grab one end of all that wriggle and squirm with his pointed beak. Then he hoovers it up. No pasta lover in the world can make a strand of spaghetti disappear as fast, and I'm showing it to you at half speed. Then, once he's scarfed down a worm, he'll stand there with perfect posture as if to say, Who, me? Eat a worm? I would never do such a thing. Besides digging for worms themselves, robins have a couple of allies in finding them. Moles and rain. 
Worms will surface to avoid moles. They feel the vibration in the soil as a mole approaches and go, holy schlamoly, I'm out of here. Some scientists theorize that worms surface during rainstorms because the patter of raindrops mimics the vibration moles create in the soil. In either circumstance, the worm, wriggling upward for its life, breaks cover. You say for moles there, but sometimes a body can't win for losing. The robin's attitude is, hmm, nice tidbit.